Hello everyone, Flash Notion here, back with another My Little Pony reaction. And hopefully uh, my voice doesn't crackle as much as the last two, although I can already kind of hear it. Um, but yeah, this episode should be very interesting. We are on Season 9, Episode 19, Dragon Dropped. And from YouTube stuff, it kind of seems like there's a new ship. And I have no idea what could have prompted this ship, because it's a very strange one. It might be the crackiest pairing since... Well, crackiest cannon pairing since Big Macintosh and Sugar Bell. And it's... Spike and Gabby. Like, how does that work? I mean, I love Gabby the Griffin. She is absolutely adorable. One of my favorite characters in... Um, which season was she introduced in? Uh, it wasn't season six, was it? I feel like it was later than that. But I don't... It wasn't season eight, definitely. So, when when did they introduce her? Hmm. The Fault, the fault in Our Cutie Marks? Is that the one? I think so. So, it was season six. Huh. Interesting. Well, uh, yeah, but yeah, she was one of my favorite new characters introduced in Season 6. Uh, she was absolutely adorable. Griffin Pinkie Pie, only maybe even more hyper. And she's appeared in the background a couple of times since then, but we haven't actually, like, had a speaking role for her since then. So, yeah, if she's in this episode and she is a big part of it, I'm going to be so happy because I love Gabby. Um, at the same time, however, it seems like this episode might also be addressing the spike and rarity thing um which i'll be honest i've been like my headcan has always been that rarity likes spike just as much as he likes her and she's just been waiting for him to like grow up and ask her out you know uh like wanting him to take the initiative there and since he's spike he hasn't um, so yeah, uh, if we're finally addressing all of that, should be interesting. Uh, I'm, uh, looking forward to finding out. So, we will start the episode in three, two, one, play. Okay. Oh. Are you in here? <laughs> Hello. Eh, <laughs> rarity. He, uh, you pen pals with Gabby? Do you think you weren't here? I realize this is last minute, but I've decided on a quick trip to the gem cave. I am on an urgent mission to find some faceted iridescence for my new design. <laughs> I can't think of any pony I'd rather have along than my favorite basket holder slash bodyguard. Aww. And she, <laughs> she's turning on the charm so much and he's Spike. just not caring at all. Spike. I like the power ponies type, uh... He wasn't <laughs> at all. I was saying that I planned I mean, for all you know, that could have been a letter to Princess Celestia. Wow. Spike has own life. This is a bit of a late start, and those gems won't pick themselves. But the real question is, which basket do you want to hold? The smaller one, right? Oh, right. Sorry, Rudy. Can I take a rain check on what was that again? Huh. Gem cave? Apparently, this has never happened before. <laughs> I mean, obviously it hasn't, but like... All right, very funny. Obviously, you get the bigger basket, and I should... No, he's, he's serious. He has things to do. <laughs> wow. The pony, my little pony, ha 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 ha, my little pony. So yeah, uh, <laughs> just totally ditched Rarity, <laughs> which is yeah surprising. I I mean I'll, that's gonna be cathartic for a lot of people, no matter how this ends up. But <laughs> I love it. Um, 
and having jealous rarity. We haven't really seen that side of her since uh, Ember first showed up. At least that's how I choose to interpret that uh, episode. Right, who's the writer? I'm surprised that didn't shatter. By Josh Haber. Okay. Hmm. Seriously, who's helping her right now that's not doing a good job? And why would Spike need to go to the post office at all? He sends mail by breathing. Breathing, darling. Breath mail. Oh, Applejack. <laughs> Honestly, Applejack, if you're going to fill in, you could make an attempt to hold the basket the way Spike would. Wow. And how's that? Well, for one thing, Spike knows how to keep things quiet so as not to waken the bats. You mean the ones that you just and he usually point me closely so no gem ever touches the ground. Huh? Rarity, Spike's been following you closely since he got to Ponyville. Yep. <laughs> and in case you hadn't noticed, I ain't Spike. Uh oh. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, Going to Twilight. What's up? I like the perspective looks uh, for, like the the way that the camera is used in this episode. Oh well, Spike isn't here. I think he's at the post office. <laughs> Fainting couch. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, said Twilight's adorable. That doesn't sound like Spike. No, it doesn't. Do you have some sort of fight? A fight? Goodness, Twilight! What an equestria would we fight about? I've had arguments with friends before, and they can put a real strain on friendships. Yeah, but well, like that's the point. Like she can't think of anything I that they I couldn't. Remember, if we had an argument, maybe you didn't realize it. How do you have? Could have done something that unintentionally hurt his feelings. I mean, I didn't realize what I did. How would I know what I have done when I did it? Yeah, I mean, that's. I wonder if that's it. It certainly would explain his behavior. I must apologize. For what? Oh, that's hardly the point. Eh. Poor Spikey Wikey. <laughs> that's. Wow. Seriously. Okay, good talk. <laughs> There she is! Wow. That is a lot of Power Pony stuff. Wow. That's a big crate of stuff you're mailing. I'm not mailing it. Then why are you pushing it into the post office? Oh, I didn't realize Griffins worked at the Ponyville post office. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't work here exactly. Ah, uh, she's got her little cutie mark thing. Of Griffinstone. Gabby Griffin. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Very pinky pie. Therefore, apologizing to Spike. Oh, Spike was just here. He went to go make us. A... That's perfect. It'll give me a chance to practice. Uh, you stand there and tell me if I hit the right apologetic notes. Um. What are you apologizing for? Darling, I don't see why that matters. <laughs> Gems, comic books, drama. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holding the, the, the thing over her head like a boom box. Oh my god, the faces. <laughs> DHX are pulling out all the stops for this. Ice cream. <laughs> he went to get them some ice cream. I don't know how I could be more genuine. I mean, Spike! Oh, Spike! I am so sorry. For what? You have to forgive me. She broke that thing. Just please, say you forgive me. Why? Just why? This is all ridiculous. Uh. What are you apologizing for? Uh, nobody knows. Every pony keep hopping on that. Wait, don't you know? No, I'm not mad at you about anything. Oh, but, but I don't understand. If you're not upset <laughs> with me, 
why in Equestria would you refuse to go to the gym cave? Uh, because I had other plans? With me! How and when and why and what? Just, I have so many questions about the two of them meeting. I don't understand. You two know each other? Exactly. I are sort of pen pals. Yeah! I mean... This whole thing where I pretended to get a cutie mark because griffins don't get cutie marks? So Princess Twilight yep. and Spike sent a bunch of letters off to Griffinstone about the first griffin ever to get a cutie mark! Which I really didn't have. Gabby wrote back explaining things, and after that we just started writing back and forth. <laughs> now we have a lot in common. We both come from cultures that don't have the friendliest of reputations. And we're both in the message sending business. Uh, True. And you're both exceptions to your cultural rules. Obviously. <laughs> I mean, and Rarity's jealous. Oh my gosh. Maybe we can do something tomorrow. Fabric shopper, I know how you love to pick out the colors. Uh, actually, now that there's a griffin at Twilight School, Gabby's here all the time. Grandpa Gruff asked <laughs> a lot of updates about how Gallus is doing. Why? Of which, I, I thought he didn't care. I'll fly with you. All right, you two fly along. I'm sure Spike and I can do something some other. Yeah, they're already gone. <laughs> time? Aww. I want to, I want I kind of want her to sing a song about it. I cannot decide which shade of purple is the most royal. And there's the pink. How will I ever choose? Too bad Spike's not here. Yeah, he could actually carry all that with no problem. Aww. He is a good sounding board, isn't he? Wow. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. <laughs> this one is not up to par. It's... That's... <laughs> yep. <laughs> that one's good. Yeah. Nope. How can you tell? Hey, Gallus! Aww! <laughs> Just take the whole lot. We'll figure it out later. <laughs> and he carries all your shopping stuff, of course. Oh, poor Spike. <laughs> but yeah, he... <laughs> I mean, you could carry all of it in your magic. It shouldn't really be... Wow. That is very inconvenient. Oh, wow. Now that's, like, classic romantic stuff right there. Like... <laughs> Spike, that's not what they're for. They're for keeping the gunk out of your eyes a little bit. <laughs> Hey, we've seen ponies do that before, so. Could you bring the pincushion a little closer, dear? I suppose now that Spike's always so busy with Gabby, I'm just now realizing how much his presence has meant to me over the mm. years. Well. Even closer, darling. I don't want to prick you. I have to. Who's, who's she talking to now? Mm -hmm. Oh, darling, it's no use. Thank you for trying. I'm just accustomed to the help of a small, highly attentive dragon. Aww. Maybe you should let Spike know how grateful you are for everything he's done for you. Huh. <laughs> I mean, a very different sort of grand gesture. Uh, Not while he's sleeping, obviously. Uh, well, that's terrifying. But I can't wait to see Rarity Dash's response to it because I'm pretty sure it would be something along the lines of I have dreamed of this moment. I just couldn't wait to share it. The great gem crevasse of the Crystal Mountains. Whoa, 
It is only accessible once a year, and I thought a little day trip really? would make a wonderful thank you for all the help you've given me over the years. Oh, but I'm supposed to meet Gabby today for her round. I see. Well, there's always next year. Wow. You know what? I'll just write her a note. Are you sure? Absolutely. I mean, she could come with you. I mean, it wouldn't. <laughs> They're putting Doctor Who's and Rose Love together a lot. Wow. Rarity, you weren't. Also, why are they taking a train? They should be able to just, uh. <laughs> what did I tell you? Yeah, that's me with my Christmas presents. Gabby, you won't believe where I went today. Actually, I think I will. I got your scroll. The great gem crevasse sounds a lot better than doing my rounds. Mm hmm. No offense, but wow. Oh, it was definitely better. I gotta get back to Griffinstone, but you have to tell me all about the crevasse tomorrow. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, like I'll get like cashews and peanuts and pretzels and just like a whole bunch of snack foods for Christmas because like that's all anybody knows how to get me. But I'll get that and I love it because <laughs> it'll last me for a while. Oh no. Whoa! Sorry, Rarity. Oh no apology necessary, Spike. In fact, I was just looking for you. Uh oh. What? This has me concerned, because we were not with her when she passes to power pony palooza for today. I know we just went to the crowd. Wow. I feel I barely scratched the surface of expressing my gratitude for all you do. Mm-hmm. Of course I want to go, but that'll be two days in a row we haven't hung out. <laughs> Are you kidding? I mean... It's Power Pony Palooza. You have to go. And now you'll have two things to tell me about. Okay. Come on, Rarity. Let's go. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> She's spoiling him. A lot. Maybe get Twilight's help. I told Gabby we'd hang out tomorrow, but I might need the whole day to rest. I know what you mean. Perhaps I could just send her another note. I think maybe you're right. Honestly, I might need to spend tomorrow putting my hooch up as well. Maybe uh, a spa day. Hmm. <laughs> It's it's dawn. It's barely dawn. Which one is it? Counted on Power Pony Palooza being quite so draining, but I thought they might spend the day recuperating together. Ogres and Oubliettes. Ogres and Oubliettes. Which version? But you enjoy it, and this seemed like the perfect opportunity for you to teach me the game. But Discord's the DM. Heck, bring her in on the game. It's better. It's played better with more people. Ew. Oh, and she's gonna think he ditched her. Hey! She's playing as Princess as Princess Smerity. Just like uh, a lot of fanfics have. Smerity. <laughs> wow. We were just scroll said you were too tired to do anything today. But I guess you were just too tired to do anything with me. No 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 no, that's not true. I can just let her rounds right now. I don't think so, Spike. Maybe I'll just handle the rounds on my own from now on. Just let her join in. Ooh! Mm. Princess Schmarity uses her prismatic theme to change that poor monster's colour to a more blazing shade of purple. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Spike's not gonna. What do you think, Spike? Solid or print? <sighs> print, I guess. You already have a lot of solid colors. Ooh, hmm. So right, print it is. Then why are you shopping? So nice to have you back, Spike. Yeah, he doesn't want to be back. Oh, I hope you're able to reconcile with Gabby. I'm 
pretty sure she doesn't want to. Wow. <laughs> He's just gonna get more and more miserable, isn't he? Wow. And I'm pretty sure having a dragon, like, wow, that's just... Uh, yeah. Wow, so Spike's going through a depressive episode. <laughs> Twilight's just like, Rarity, get your crap out of my house. <laughs> Yeah. Suppose it's possible it could have something to do with <clears throat> Gabby not wanting to spend time with him anymore. What? I thought the two of them were hanging out all the time. They were. Honestly, it took everything I had to convince him to spend any time with me at all. See now, this is a better version of the stuff of the uh, of the lesson from. Uh... Oh, and now I managed to get some time in. It sounds like you made sure he didn't have any time to spend with Gabby at all. What? <laughs> I certainly did not. Yeah, this is a better version of the Flourish episode we just had. <laughs> like, literally, it's the same concept of people wanting time with each other and ha having new responsibilities and new issues. And, like, this is a better version of that. More sympathetic characters and, like, more reasonable... <laughs> Yeah, I apologize to Gabby first. Also, Good that's... <laughs> Two couches now. <laughs> the Twilight's just... <laughs> Rarity? Is all this stuff for Spike again? Wouldn't it be easier to just give it to him? Then why are you even here? I am here to apologize, actually. More to confess. And all of this stuff isn't for Spike. It's the evidence against me. Evidence? For what? For my acts of utter selfishness. I don't understand. Oh, These poor innocent Gabby. Used to lure Spike into spending as much time with me as possible. They wow. You did? Rarity? What are you doing? Well, obviously I'm apologizing to Gabby so the two of you can renew your friendship, Spike. Now please, even if you can't forgive me, you simply must forgive Spike. Oh, I am <laughs> <to you. laughs> This double take on that one as well. Eh, she messes up sometimes. I didn't need to. But the more time you two spent together, the more I missed my time with Spike, and the more I used every means at my disposal to get it back. I am truly sorry. She was jealous. Do you really miss spending time with me? Aww. Of course. I have to say, how could she how could he doubt that? You, I understand why. You're kinda awesome. And yeah. I know what it's like to miss that now too. So do you think maybe we could start hanging out again? How about we uh, make it every other day? I would like some company on your rounds right now. I sure would. Wonderful. I can't tell you how pleased I am that the two of you have already worked things out. <laughs> Reconciled. Wow. I suppose Twilight is right. Friendships do change. Mm. Of course, Spike and I will always be friends. Who's helping her now? Please tell me it's... It's Pinky! I knew that was gonna be it, because Pinky was the only... Pinky was the only one who hadn't, uh... Who hadn't appeared yet. Hey! Quiet. Quiet. Aww. Oh, so that's how it works. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so yeah, just need to work out a schedule for hanging out with both of them. See, that's how it's supposed to be. Compromise, not whatever that ended up being with Rangel and Fluttershy. So, this is going to be an interesting one to talk about.
Okay. So. <laughs> Spike and Rarity. An issue that's been in the background of the show pretty much ever since season... Well, no. All the way back to the first episode. And a lot of people take issue with it. A lot of people really don't like it. I mean, there was a time when Sparity was, like, a pretty common thing. Um, like, oh yeah, we shipped it. It was cute. But then, like, it seems a lot of people jumped ship after a while, started shipping Spike with, like, the CMCs or Twilight or a bunch of other characters. Like, even Applejack. Um, <laughs> but, um, no, it's just... They got annoyed with Rarity seeing somewhat condescending to him sometimes, or, like, oblivious to how he was feeling, which I think is kind of unfair. Um, and just overall, I feel like the attitude of these people is that because we haven't seen them dealing with that sort of stuff on screen, it hasn't happened, which is also dumb. Like, that's just the dumbest thing. Just because we haven't seen it on screen doesn't mean it hasn't happened. Um, they mention stuff all the time that's happened off screen, and this is just one of those things that it would be kind of hard to bring up. Like, how do, you, how do you bring up that two characters have reconciled one of them having romantic feelings for the other, and then the other one not really being sure how to reciprocate that or whatever the deal is? Like... It, it plus the whole issue of you know is, is Spike technically a baby still because he is young by dragon standards or is he like because he's not by pony standards he's old er ish like he's at least as old as Twilight almost um like and like as far as I'm concerned at this point Twilight's like late twenties mid thirties at least um. <laughs> So, huh? Sorry, uh, just trying to. I I heard something else. Anyways, um, so yeah, the issue there, it, like, it, it's been an issue with the fandom for a while. Like, people not really liking Sparity anymore, and them taking issue with how Spike and Rarity interact in episodes. And, like, any time there's an episode involving the two of them that doesn't directly address, come out and, like, say, Spike is not interested in Rarity anymore, you know, like, they they kind of... People, so, some people, at least, take issue with it and bring it up and harp on it. And I'm not naming names. I, I won't name names because, like, if you know who it is, you know who it is. And if you don't, you don't. And it doesn't matter. Just know that there are people out there who have that opinion. Um, personally, I've always liked Sperry. I've always found it, like, ever since um, Secret of My Excess, it very much seemed like Rarity was aware of Spike's interest in her. And basically, like, her shushing him at that point in time wasn't shutting him down. It was basically saying, like, not now. You know, like, this is not the time for it. A life or death situation where... Uh, you know, they both kind of, well, where one of them just kind of screwed up massively. Like, this, it, it really wasn't the time for him to uh, really come right out and say it. But I, I feel like they have talked about it, or, like, at least come to an understanding off screen. And I, I really do. I, I still feel like Rarity's thing is that she is waiting for Spike to... to actually like make it official like ask her out on a date um and you know he's, he's spike he's nervous and shy and like he doesn't understand how to do that sort of stuff and like, like he's not a child by pony standards at all but he's still somewhat he, he looks at the world from a very odd perspective where it's like sometimes childish but sometimes it's not um, there's probably a way to interpret that. I don't know what it is, but it would be kind of cool to hear some people's different uh, views on what they, th why they think Spike looks at the world that way, or like how that compares to people in real life. Um, I'm not gonna deal with that. 
But, like, moving on from that and looking at this episode, I mean, this episode is kind of the flip side. We're seeing just how much Rarity not, not, not just cares about Spike, but, like, she enjoys spending time with him. Like, she's not just using him as slave labor, which, I mean, that, that's that been, like, a, how a lot of people kind of view it, is that Spike is, because Spike is so infatuated with Rarity, he's willing to do all this crazy stuff for her, and she just takes advantage of him. And, no, it's quite clear that, you know, they go out into the gem caves, or they're working on the dresses or whatever, and it's like, Spike enjoys doing that because it's spending time with Rarity. And... Rarity enjoys him, not just him being there to help her, but just have his company. Like, he knows how she works, he's able to help her in ways that other people or ponies aren't, and, like, he understands her, and just, like, they work together well, but it's not just working, it's spending time together, they're friends. I feel like I'm over-explaining this, because it it really is simple to get. Um, (laughs) But, like, Spike, he, without him in her life, there's a, there's a void in Rarity's life without Spike, and it's, it really does seem to go beyond just, you know, he's a standard friend, and it's definitely not, like, a boss-employee relationship either, and it's not family, like, with, uh, Twilight, so that really doesn't leave a whole lot of options as far as, like, what it could be. I mean, I know there's a whole bunch of different types of, like, people relationships. There's, like, like the ancient Greeks had, like, so many different words for it, for the stuff. But, like, in modern English, there's not that many different ways to put it. Um, But, I mean... I've, I had to describe it properly. I mean, Spike is a very significant part of Rarity's life. He is the only other person, uh, character, or, or, like, individual that she can rely on. So uh, I, I think the words we're, we're looking for there is significant other, <laughs> even though the show won't confirm it, apparently. Um, but, yeah, so they have that unique relationship and then al- along comes Gabby, and Spike and her become friends, and then, you know, because of Gallus, she's around all the time, which, can I just point out, well, no, there, it still has to take place after, like, halfway through season eight, so, I was gonna say, like, this one could have taken place at any, at any such time, but, like, no, it, it really has to take place relatively recently, um... Hydration. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, um... No, like... Being friends with Gabby now leaves Spike less time to be friends with Rarity. Um, which, you know... Like I said, it's it's basically like a better version of what we just got with uh, the Flourish episode. Which is unfortunate because it makes that Flourish episode seem even worse by comparison. But it, it really is the same kind of issue with... You know, uh, Rarity is basically in Angel's pace. She wants the attention, uh, or, like, the companionship that the other character, uh, Spike in the place of Fluttershy, usually gives, but now that Spike has a new thing going on, uh, his friendship with Gabby, as opposed to Fluttershy dealing with the Sanctuary, um, like, he is spending less time with Rarity, and now Rarity is not just jealous, but, like, really desperate to get that time back. And un- and still com- continuing the comparison there, Rarity really is far more sympathetic than, with, than Angel here, because, like, Angel, like, <sighs> Flourish was just doing her job. So Angel really should have learned how to deal with that, because, like, it's Flourish job. She can't just drop everything to deal with Angel's petty, you know, bratty, like, oh, I'm not the center of her world anymore type thing. Like, that's just... No. Whereas here, like, this is another friend who really was consuming all of Spike's time, it seemed like. He was writing letters to her, he was going to meet her at the post office, they were doing so much stuff 
together that he wasn't doing anything with Rarity for a little while. And so, yeah, uh, Rarity becomes that much more sympathetic because this isn't something that really should have consumed all of Spike's life. He should have made time for them both, and he should have let Rarity know, like, hey, uh, I won't be able to do our usual stuff on the, in during this time because I'm doing stuff with somebody else. And <laughs> so Spike kind of learned a lesson there of uh, scheduling and, um, you know, communication. Rarity, on the other hand, learned that uh, it is okay, in fact, to share another person's time, which... Yeah, I don't really think she's learned that lesson before. She she really hasn't had to, I don't think. I'm trying to think of a situation where Rarity's been in where she could have learned that lesson. Um, and nothing's coming to mind. Because, like, yeah, she just... I mean, she's learned not to divide her own attention too much because of, like, um... Not Secret of My Access. What was the other one there? Um... The one that had the song, uh, Pony, Every Pony Should Know. It was in season two. I can't remember which episode that was. She went to Canada a lot, hung out with all the nobles. Um, yeah, fun episode. But, like, she she learned in that one not to divide her own time uh, too thin. But, like, she never learned... She's never learned that, it's so, that she has to share other people's time. Um, which... Yeah, so fair enough there that for Rarity learning that. And then, like, Gabby didn't really have to learn anything because she was just... She wasn't, um... How do I put this? She wasn't that much of a character in this episode. Like, she was just... She was not really a MacGuffin. She was a, a plot coupon um, that was the source of a problem. And... That problem was not removed or fixed by removing her, but rather learning to work with her, um, which didn't really require that much effort on her part. It just had her had she just had to be like, oh yeah, you know, no, Spike, it's totally fine if you want to also spend time with Rarity. I don't have to be like we don't have to hang out twenty four seven, okay? Like, so yeah, uh, Gabby. Gabby had a fine role in this episode. She was fun to have around. Um, she didn't really get up to too much uh, beyond, you know, just being there and being adorable. Like, she didn't do... She didn't have a whole lot of antics like she did in the CMC episode. Um, the closest we really got was that moment where she was just like, there was this whole thing where I had fake getting cutie mark, blah, 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 blah. And, like, she went into a motor mouth a little bit right there for a second. Um, which, you know, yeah, like, we, other than that, though, like, she, uh, she kept it pretty toned down, I thought, compared to last time, um, so, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I mean, it, fair enough, like, she spent a lot of time being weirded out by Rarity and what Rarity was doing, and it's, it's kind of hard to compete with Rarity when she's in dramatic mode, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, that's another thing, like, that we got to address, like, right there, is just, like, you don't go borderline stalkerish, po possessive like that about someone who is merely a friend. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, no, it's just, like, it does kind of seem like Rarity didn't quite realize how much Spike meant to her, but, like... Yeah, it, it, it's very obvious how much he means to her. And it's it's not just that, you know, she, she's come to rely on his, uh, like... Like, it, it showed them at the, spa, at the spa. And, like, the gem caves are obviously something that Spike would enjoy a whole lot. And then this episode showed them hanging out and playing Ogre's, Ogre's New Liettes, which, okay, to be fair, they'd never done that before. But the fact that... Like, Rarity was not only willing to do it, but, like, she seemed to be enjoying it. I feel like it just shows that, like, it's not... There's more to the relationship than just, you know, her getting him to do stuff for her. Which is just how people viewed it. And I 
have always disagreed, and I feel like this episode not only provides proof that it goes beyond that, but, like, it addresses in a tangential kind of way a lot of other issues that people have to the point where I now understand why the uh, Equestria Daily poll had it as an option that it could go either way. You can ship Spike with Gabby or with Rarity, and both of them are fine. Like, to be clear, uh, his blush when he was just like, can I hang out with you now, Gabby? That was, that was adorable. And a lot of the stuff that he and Gabby were doing together could be seen as, like, dates. Um, <laughs> like, it, it just had that uh, air about it, like, quite a bit. Um, but it could also be completely platonic, of course, because, you know, take off the sh- shipping goggles. Shicking? What? What is shicking? It's like that's like the sound effect that Wolverine's claws make. Shick. Um, but uh, yeah. So this episode was fun for Rarity's antics. Um, <laughs> and I mean, be, and like it was cool to see Gabby back. Glad she got speaking lines again. Um, her having a friendship with Spike makes sense once they explain it, and it's fine, like, it works, it doesn't break anything, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a solid episode, middle of the season, I guess, maybe, actually, it might be more towards the bottom of the season, considering how great a lot of the epi- other episodes are, but I do, I do think it's above, um, a large number of the episodes, which word program that I use to make the list, because <laughs> I want to want to put this on the list right now um i don't want to leave it uh i don't want the list to be shorter than it ha- like I, I let the list go last time quite a bit and now i i don't want to um so it's definitely above she talks to angel because it's basically a better version of that um the last laugh Ooh, is it better than that one hmm that's a tough one but I do feel like I enjoy it more than the last crusade, which is where at its, which is above the last laugh more for objective reasons than subjective reasons. Um, two, four, six, great. Yeah, I can kind of see it being above that one. Um, sweet and smoky. Uh, trigger pursuit. It's definitely not above common ground. So, it's it's going to go between A Trivial Pursuit and Sweet and Smoky for spot number nine on the list. Uh, Dragon... I feel like the title should have been Dragon Dumped, not Dragon Dropped. But then they realized that Dragon Dump sounds wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> it would have been more accurate, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I I just wrote it as Dragon Dumped. Dragon Dropped. Okay. And that is episode 19. Spot number 9. Everything works out. Yay. Alright. So, that is it for this time. I hope you all enjoyed the reaction. And I will see you next time.